<clears throat> well, it's definitely been a little while. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Jailbreak video. As you just saw, it's been about four months since I last played Jailbreak, so I thought it was time. Let's go check it out. Not everything is what it seems to be. For some reason, the prison looks a little bit different to me. Oh yeah, I remember, right before I left, there was an update about to happen. The prison got destroyed or something, so it got revamped. Anyway, I've never escaped from this new prison, so let's check it out. They saved this old punch box that they used to have, and it opens this gate to the side. That's pretty cool. He is lying to you. Wow, that's really weird. My computer keeps lagging a lot. Anyways, this is way different from before. Now you have to jump on Do not trust what he is saying. Not real. Not real. Not real. Not real. This new escape is pretty cool. I will say, it does feel a lot slower than that old escape route we used to have where you just blew up the wall and jumped out of prison. But I appreciate their attention to detail on this one. He's a YouTuber. He'll stop and say the thing. I know it. Before I start the video, make sure to like and subscribe. These jailbreak YouTuber bots are so predictable. It's time to end this. Whew, that was a close one. If I didn't get him there, he might have ruined my whole channel. I'm the real Ezzy. I went into hiding around four months ago. Since then, I've been in the shadows working at my goals. If you watch some of my old videos, you probably know that I've been wanting to get my own OG Hypershift. And before, I was able to get purple, yellow, and orange 5, all of my own OG Hyper Level 5s. Also, before I left, I'd already traded for Hyper Green Level 4, and also Hyper Pink Level 4. As you can see, I overpaid quite a bit for both of them. Anyways, that means that green and pink are the next two colors that I'm going to be going for Level 5. That means I'll have to start focusing on the bank and also the casino robbery. Starting with the bank, it's quite a difficult robbery just because cops always swarm it and they can bust you in the vault. And the casino robbery isn't as difficult, but it is a long robbery and also it's kind of out of the way on the map. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Grinding to Hypershift with Ezzy. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of footage of grinding the bank because I didn't expect to come back to YouTube so early. Really, I started grinding bank for fun. I didn't expect to get the Hyper Green 5 at all. But then on July 11th, I got the Hyper Green level 5 at around 25% pity chance. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, so I didn't get a clip of it. And yeah, this is the P1 from season 17. I actually didn't miss any of the seasons. I've been grinding them all while I was gone. And you know I didn't miss Aperture. I actually got it on three different alt accounts as well, so I was trading those a little bit off camera. Besides that, I haven't really been trading as much, but I have been trying to buy back my old OG cars that are still obtainable. Anyways, it's kind of a bummer that I didn't get the green five on camera, but I'm glad that I got it so early. I was definitely a little bit afraid of going to 100% on green five. I knew that would have been really difficult. I got green five quite a while ago, but recently I've started grinding again to try to get my pink five. All right, so for the pink five, honestly, getting the green five motivated me to start grinding pink five. And I started getting videos of every time that I was rolling for pink five. At first, I just started grinding in small servers and trying to focus on casino every time it opened. Grinding like that was very good for my money. I gained a lot of cash during that time, but my percentage was only going up around 2% every day, which was way too low for me. One other bonus from grinding on small servers was that I was racking up high bounties and I was able to cash those bounties in with alt accounts. I don't see enough people doing this, but if you store up your bounties on an alt account, eventually you might have enough to buy a new limited car when it comes out. Which as you can see, I got around 900,000 on this alt account just from arresting myself. That was one minor thing that I wanted to mention. But after I got to around 69% on Hyper Pink 5, I started hopping servers to really make sure that I got the Hyper Chrome faster. Luckily, I did record every time that I robbed Casino, so here's a few that were really close to Hyper 5.
I just got 99.9, .9, so that means the next robbery should be 100%. So this should be my last casino robbery, making this the first hyper level five that I've had to go to 100% on. Grinding casino has been hard because of how long of a robbery it is, but I enjoy how unique it is. Time for a fun fact. You spend around 30 seconds in the elevator every time you rob casino, so multiply that by 1,500 times. I spent around 12 and a half hours in the elevator of the casino. Safe to say I'm a pro elevator rider. Something I've always wondered is which side do people usually go out of when they get to the vault floor? I know that the right side is better, but I'm just wondering. Anyways, casino being one of the longest robberies is definitely a little bit boring to watch, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit more. I just grabbed 750 because I knew this was my last one. I just wanted to get it done. Also, by chance, I was able to join the same server as this guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I know he does YouTube as well, and I'm pretty sure he's already gotten his own OG Hypershift, so he's pretty inspirational to me. Anyways, this is it. 100% Hyper Pink Level 5. Uh, yeah, I don't know where my hyperchrome is. I got to 100%, so I expected to get it. I'm just joking, guys. It's an easy fix. I'll just rob it one more time. So, for real this time, here it is. That's a jailbreak moment. This cop can't leave me alone after getting my Hyper 5. He's so desperate for 10,000. Oh well. He got 10,000, but I got Hyper Pink Level 5. Let's go! It was a long grind. I went from 16 million to 24 million dollars, and it took well over 150 hours to complete this challenge. But now I have two more Level 5 Hyper Chromes that are my own OG. So in total, that's 5 out of 8 OG Hyper Level 5s to get Hyper Shift. The three colors I have left are Diamond, Blue, and Red. I already traded for Diamond 4, but I'm still looking for Blue 4 and Red 4, or maybe Blue 3 or Red 3, and I'll just grind for the 4. If you have any of those Hyper Chromes and are trading them, please leave a comment. I will definitely try to make a deal with you. But besides that, here's me showing off my Hyper Chromes that I got and thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it no promises when my next video will be but if you want more make sure to like and subscribe thank you very much Participate in misinformation for a free movie.